Hello and welcome to Tsimukhai. I hope all of you are doing well. Today I'm going to be sharing um, insights um, into my other project uh, of worm bin composting. So I've started this project um, just a little under a year. So there is an intensive process that goes into that because um, while these worms produce what we call worm casting, they need to be fed. So the idea is I feed them once a week. So I feed them anything from um, old vegetables, fruits, um, yeah, anything around that. So this is just my, I think, a snippet into what goes into preparation of feeding the worms. So I'm just going to cut, um, I've cut the bananas and I'm going to be cutting the apples, old ones of course. Um, what I then do is I will then journey with you to where the bins are and show you how I feed them. It's quite an exciting process, but I hope that um, you can um, take the journey with me and see how my world of worm bin composting works. So, yeah, this is it. As you can see here, I do have um, old packets of um, apples. <clears throat> so basically these fruits here, I collect them from a local supermarket. Uh, these are, um, I think, the, the, the uh, produce that's reached um, its expiry date. So what I do is every Friday, um, if I close of business, I just go there and collect these. I must say that the, 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 the owner there has been very uh, generous and uh, I'm, I'm truly grateful for that. So what I'm doing now is I'm dicing uh, them into smaller sizes so that um, they're easily compostable or the worms are able to um, kind of eat them. So um, that's what I do uh, once a week. Um, sometimes when I'm busy I do get a little help from um, family members uh, to help chop um, the fruits and vegetables. So in my garden also I do have um, some old vegetables. I also add them into the bin. So, so this is the work that goes into it. So here already there's bananas that I've, I've added here. Um, and now I'm adding apples. So yeah. It is my understanding that um, the worms love um, sugary um, um, food. What that does is it helps them um, um, help them uh, to grow quicker and um, be able to produce cocoons. So what it means is it's like a, a fuss, it's like a healthy meal that helps them get them quicker. So, once I've done this, I will then um, take you guys to the bin area where I put them. So I will stop the video now and then um, join you guys later. Thanks. Cheers. All right, everyone. So I've just kind of finished chopping the apples and put them in these buckets. So I've built up, I think these are two five kilograms um, green waste. So now that I've done this, I'll be going to the next phase of um, feeding the worms. So I'm just going to go outside and show you uh, basically where the worms are. I have um, four big um, worm bins. So what I've done there, I've reused the old plum pots, um, emptied them, and then used them as a worm bin. Um, I think I'm a big fan of reusing and recycling the material that you have. So those are outside. And then uh, I've also 
um, created a what I would call a continuous flow through pin CFT pin using a wheelie pin so using what we call the typical municipality black pin so I think I will shoot a separate video on that one and uh, how it started and what's the concept behind that bin is but i think after here i'll go with you guys outside and then show you where i feed, I feed the worms and then yeah we'll take it from there otherwise stay with me see you just now cheers hello welcome again we are now at the carport area where the worm bins are situated so i've placed five worm bins big ones I think four of them I've used more recyclable material, but the three of the five I've used the old plant pots to grow the worm bins in there. So what I'll do is I'll try and feed one or two and take the video and show you guys what really is a worm, um, red wiggler worm feeding or uh, worm bin composting is about. For some of you at home, it might be a very, um, I think, a yucky experience, but I think uh, um, it goes with um, anyone's interest in it. So um, please bear with me um, and I hope you'll enjoy the experience. So just before we start, so this is the carport. This is where everything is at. So behind me there, you will see that there's like uh, five black bins. Um, um, I've put them upside down. These bins were had the worms which I put in these uh, big bins right now. So what I'm going to be doing also later is I'm going to be refurbishing those bins. I'm going to be reloading them with new bedding and new worms for them to continue growing. So this is my carport. Uh, there's a bit of junk around, um, but um, I think this is where I store everything. So you also see that behind me there, um, there's a bunch of fruits apples which i got also from the supermarket so these are old apples that i'm using also to put inside the bin so yeah i think let's do this let's try and feed one or two bins and then yeah stay with me i'm going to set up the tripod so please bear with me um i want to make sure that i get it right so yeah but before we start before you go there sorry i have a few things that i'm gonna be putting in there so i have uh brown leaves in here these are used for bedding. I have old brown bags. Uh, thank you, Cheddar 6060, that I use um, also as part of the bedding process. I also use shredded paper. Yeah. Part of bedding. I use ground coffee. You would remember ground coffee. I use that as well to feed the worms. And then behind me here, I do have egg shells and then the fruit itself okay so that's what i'll be putting in the bin um so yeah let's do this i hope i'm setting to go nicely uh, okay all right let's see okay so inside this bin here it's um red wiggler worms you see this yellow plastic here i put it in just to make sure that um we keep moisture in because the worms don't like dry environment so if it's too dry what they will do is they may try and escape or if not they may end up dying so you don't want to uh, lose the worms in that so what's important about the worms is that the red wigglers is the bedding is moist enough for them to kind of um, live in there to be able to move around to lay eggs and just a nice and comfortable environment the plastic retains moisture so every time i feed them i cover the worms with the plastic so that um, um they don't dry up so what i'm gonna do now is uncover the worm bins. So, what you see in there now it's a bit dark. I wish you could. Okay. So, please bear with me because. So, it's very dark in here. But, so, 
what we're seeing here is the worm bedding. I'm seeing a cocoon already. This little thing here is a worm cocoon. So I hope you can see it. Um, so they've laid a cocoon. This generally <coughs> takes a couple of weeks for them to hatch. And what they do is they live underneath. They live under. Let me do this. So the worms love a very comfortable environment. So as an example to show you, here are the worms here. You can see they're going to start trying to make their way out of my hand because they hate the light and they're going to go inside. See already this stuff here, it was green and now it's black. So it means it's turning into worm casting. So this bin, it must be I think two weeks old. I started it two weeks ago. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to trying to just open just the hole in the middle. Why am I doing that? I'm opening a hole in the middle so I can be able to feed the worms. So that's the whole main idea of what I'm trying to achieve here. So I'm doing that so that I can be able to bury the food for them to be able to enjoy. So, so I'm doing here. Yeah, so there's quite a beautiful number of worms. There's quite a lot. So it appear that they're really enjoying the environment. So lots of brown leaves in there. Okay. So what I then do is I'm then going to put just a generous feeding of the one um, the fruit okay so I think I've got enough here I believe I've got enough enough space there so you would remember the fruit here so I am going to start feeding them enough for at least one week okay. so that should be enough what I then do next is grab some brown coffee sprinkle on top of the fruit that's also generous help there what I then do is I then put in eggshells so eggshells help with grit um, so grit helps the worms to be able to digest the food in the in the stomach so I fed fruit I put in coffee I put in eggshells so the idea is once I've done that I need to cover the food with the bedding itself so what I'm doing now is oopsie see, it looks like there's a plastic here that's not good okay I cover the bedding nicely that's what I'm doing now make sure that all the smell is buried okay. what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab one of the brown papers here one or two and as you can see, one of them is a, a Woolies brown paper. So the idea is you then cover the worms. What I'll then do is I will then return the plastic on top of the 
feeding area. So, the idea is to retain moisture here. So, this is what I'm going to do. And then, that looks neat. So, worms love a moist place. They don't like the light, that's why I'm using brown bag on top of that and then I put plastic to retain moisture. There's a big container, so what it means is they can easily move around. I've given them enough food to survive for a week. So I will visit them again a week later to see how they do it and feed them some more. The more you feed them regularly, the more they lay cocoons and then the more they multiply in numbers. So that's a, just the principle of red wiggler and how to take care of them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover this pot and then move to the next one. Right, so we have my second pot here. Um, this one is two, I think three months old. Um, it's one of the first ones that I started with here. Um, and then what I did was to add the other bins to kind of um, make sure that there's more worms um, growing. So um, I'm gonna do the same as the previous one, as you can see. Making sure you cover them is quite critical. You have to make sure that moisture is maintained. So, okay. So what I'm gonna be doing now again, this one I put brown paper already, so they've already gone through it. As you can see now, that they've eaten it already, um, and then. I've also been adding brown leaves, um, brown leaves for them as you can see, there's worms eh, amongst uh, between those leaves there, so they're enjoying that very much, so that's what I've been doing as well, so anything for them to eat and digest and keep them busy, so this is what it looks like now, so I'm going to do the same as the last bin, I'm going to try and scrape the brown leaves away from the top. So the idea is to make sure that I want to try and find a worm ball. The worm ball is one worms. There you go. This is a beautiful worm ball. So what it means is they say red wigglers are communal eaters. So meaning that they like eating in groups. So where there's food you'll always find a ball of one so this is what we have good experience lots of them lots of them as you can see here amazing stuff okay so what am i going to be doing now because i fed that side of the bin a week or so ago i'm going to feed the opposite side of the bin right so I'm going to do the same as you. It's quite a lot of warm balls. My goodness. Yo, this is amazing. Look at that. Yo, this is amazing stuff. Okay. So, I'm going to dig a hole here. So, that's what I'm trying to do. A hole here on the side here. Uh, the reason. Why I use this tool here is because it does not um, um, hurt them or break them because the worms are sensitive so when you use your fingers the fingers are so big that when you try and dig up you might end up you know um, in the process um, hurting worms and then killing them so this tool here it's easy it's sharp but not sharp enough to uh, cause damage to the worms right so so that's what I'm doing here. A lot of worm casting here. 
So a lot of worm casting here. One day I'm going to get a set so I can set them out, the black castings. So we can start putting them in the garden. Okay. Um, so, yeah, making a nice, nice area, feeding area for them here. And then, again, like I did with the other ones, I'm going to generously put a good amount of fruit there. Oopsie. See, I'm dropping the stuff on the floor. So, there you go. Put that in. I'm now going to put in some coffee grounds. Coffee grounds there. Beautiful coffee grounds. I've got tons of coffee grounds here guys. I mean every second day I go to Seattle coffee shop and then they give me all of them. Eggshells, crushed eggshells. There. Then again I'm going to do what I did with the other bin. Oops, with the other bin I'm going to make sure that I cover the food so we're covering the food again that's what we're gonna do and then so that's what we're doing just gonna put these brown papers here so they can finish them off but what I'll do is I'm going to add Again, another fresh brown bag. Um, so this is a bag that I'm just going to put on top of these worms here. Then I am going to then return the plastics where we found them. Like that. I'm going to put this big black plastic here so they're nicely covered and I will then return this sack here and then I will put that there so this is how I feed the worms so the idea is I'm gonna continue feeding um, the rest of the bins and um, so that's what I do on a weekly basis grow the worms they are a good experience that I've been going through I thoroughly enjoy doing that so um, I just want to say thank you if you're watching this video and um, I hope that you like it and one day when you are brave I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel, Tsimokai. For now, thank you so much. Take care. Bye.